When we are in a need of a closed hi-hat holder, all we have to do is take apart the top of the cymbal arm. And after that, rearrange the pieces. First, put a felt, then the bottom symbol, then the symbol sleeve. Next is the top half of the hi hat, the second felt, and the winged screw. Here it is, a closed hi-hat holder. For the next version, a coupler and a bolt are needed, both with 8mm thread. First I have to cut down the threaded part of the bolt, leave about the one-third part of it. Then I screw them together firmly. And after that, I cut the head of the bolt. Then the end needs to be smoothened with a sanding piper, a file, or whatever we have. And now we put the pieces together. A cowbell or another similar thing like a mounted tambourine is needed to tighten the rod and hold down the hi-hat top. One day, before a studio recording session, I realized that I need a closed hi-hat holder. I had to use what I had, so I took an old bongo stand and some parts to make the hi-hat holder. First a rubber felt, then the bottom half of the hi-hat, a small tube, a spring, and a hi-hat clutch, which happened to have a bigger hole than the other ones. And thanks for the spring, I was able to produce different sounds on the hi-hat. The next solution is a Tama auxiliary hi-hat arm, simple, sturdy and usable. And it has a spring as well.
It's a millennium cable hi-hat. It can be used by food or with a draw clutch as a closed hi-hat holder.